Good day, students. In our nursing 245, nursing particle 2, under session 1, managing infectious patients, we talked about hand washing, gloving, wearing of gowns. These are ways to prevent infection. And we also said that infection can be spread directly or indirectly from one person to another. And the only way you can prevent this infection is by frequent hand washing, wearing of protective clothing such as gowns, masks, and gloves. So this morning, we are going to demonstrate how to wash hands and how to wear gloves and then a gown. So we'll go through quickly the steps for washing hands. You need to remove all your jewelry, and then stand slightly away from the sink to avoid being splashed with water. We need to wet our hands under running water, apply soap to all surfaces of the hands and raised. And then lather the hands using the plain soap or liquid soap and then work hands palm to palm, rub hands over back of the left and vice versa. So I'm going to do demonstration here so that you watch closely. So first, I turn on the tap, a running tap. Now, I wet my hands, take the liquid soap, enough, and then you rub, first rub, and then in between, And then clap in, clap this left hand on the right hand, and then after that, you bring it to drip. Then you draw your towel. And then you turn the tap off. You maintain your hand at the waist level. Now we are going to demonstrate how to wear a surgical glove. I've done my hand washing. I will allow my assistant to help me to release the surgical glove. So this is our clean area. Now, before opening the surgical glove, you look out for the expiring date of the surgical glove. This one has March 2017 as expiring date. Okay. So you wear the dominant hand first by picking the outer side. So this is it. The glove has been done. So after touching a patient or going through any procedure, and now you want to remove, you hold it this way, out, and then you drop it in the receiver. So that is how to done on a glove 
and then you remove it. After that, you need to wash your hands and then you can move on with another thing. So we are also going to demonstrate how to don on a gown for a procedure. So now we are going to demonstrate how to gown on a, 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 a surgical gown for procedures. So this is our gown from the CSSD. It has to be dropped. Okay. So I've gone on. So you can see me that it has been tied by my, uh, my colleague here. So and then you are ready for your surgical procedures. So the same way, if you want to remove it, it has to be untied. Yes. Okay. Okay. Then you move it this way. Making sure that and then you drop it in the bin for disposal. So thank you very much. I have demonstrated how to, uh, to don on a surgical glove and how to wear a gown. Then our final one is wearing of max. So this is our max. This is the outer side and then this is the inner side. So when you take it, you first of all have to look for the meta rod. We have it here, you can see. So this side faces you and then you put it on the bridge of your nose. You tie at the top side and secure it. And then the down part goes at the nape of your neck. And then you hold this side and pinch so that you can breathe. So that is it. How to wear a max. Yeah. We finished with gowning, donning of gloves, and wearing of max. Thank you very much. And then after all the procedure, you wash your hands again. Thank you. <laughs>